guys, welcome back to Kelly's Garage. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of an update for you on the Red Eye build. We are finally in the process of putting it back together. I'm really excited. Knuckle busting and chunks of fingers missing and all. It's been a long journey and we're, uh, I would say we're almost there. Off with the solid aluminum lockouts. Um, it's the solid aluminum cradle lockouts. So you can see we got rid of all of the rubber we did put side by side so we have the factory cradle here for you. So all of the rubber mounts, including the lower control arm and diff, we've all we've changed those. We did the lower control arm to uh, Super Pro Poly Bushing, and then we did the diff lockout. Uh, so these are solid aluminum as well, and those are also from BMR. So we did the BMR diff lockout, BMR solid cradle lockout, and then the Super Pro lower control arm. Uh, so you can see on the factory cradle, everything's rubber. I'll tell you this, it was a, a pretty rough experience with this stupid cradle. Um, this is number two of brand new ones. So I, I, you know, when you're doing this stuff yourself and you're not a shop and you've never done this before, you are gonna make mistakes, it's okay. Just make sure you're you make money so you can pay for all this stuff because it, it costs a lot. So give you an idea, each cradle was about $620 to $630. And uh, I did mess up the first one. We cut into the, the metal and I was kind of worried about the integrity of the, of the first cradle that I bought. So I did have it welded after putting a few hours into it. I was just like, you know what? I stripped all the, all the paint off of it. And it just, it, I was just like, all right, well, we need to start over. Called up a buddy, he took a torch. We torched this out. Um, I think we will probably post a couple photos in within this video, just to show you a little bit of the process. It took us all day to remove every bushing out of the cradle. And there's four, six, there's eight. So for eight bushings, to give you an idea of a timeline, it took us from about 11 or 12, let's say 11 a.m. till about, what, five or six? About five or six to finish the removal. So it, it's a job in itself. To follow up with the cradle bushings and all everything else, uh, we're going with the Super Pro bushings in the uh, strut or the shock, whatever you want to call it. It's a shock or strut. I'm not sure what you, everybody's gonna have their own name for it. These are pretty tough to get in. Um, if you guys decide to end up do this, to do this uh, on your car, I don't know if it's worth it yet, but if you decide to spend, I think these were 99 or 89, I don't know. They were about a hundred bucks for, for this, for both sides. If you decide to do this, feel free to reach out. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, so every bushing in the rear cradle, except for the lower control arm that hit, that meets the knuckle, this here, I don't think they sell that. Um, at least if they do, I haven't found it. But aside from those on each lower control arm, every bushing has been replaced with either poly or solid. So we're going for the gold. So I haven't really discussed what we're gonna do as far as the diff. Uh, you do know that we are doing the billet from AJ Burge. Um, just to give you a little background on this, this piece is like 47 and change, so it's called 48. Um, I did decide to do the billet diff lockout, but on the on the front bushings for the diff, I decided to go with what AJ sends with the with the uh, with the diff itself. So I'm not sure the brand or what name these are, but I'm pretty sure they're like a, a polyurethane, just like the Super Pro is. It was a very uh, similar texture. These are very, very hard plastic. Um, my my reason for not going with the solid uh, aluminum in the diff is the diff is already solid aluminum. So to pound solid aluminum back in it, I don't want to ruin the integrity of it or, you know, I don't want to hurt this diff in any way. Not saying it would, I just don't know because those bushings, those metal bushings fit very tight. There's a little bit of give in these. So I figured, hey, why not just at least, if there is gonna be any play in the rear end, you know, at least have some type of give right here. I know that's probably gonna get, get some backlash for that, 
um, but I'm not I'm not wanting to go through this again so if these will help avoid a catastrophic failure I'm gonna leave them in uh, and that's the route that we're going and then we also have a DSS carbon fiber drive shaft like number four three four I can't keep track it's drive shaft number five or six yeah there, there it is so it's drive shaft number five or six I think it's six and it's number three carbon fiber so no, it's number five yeah so it's hard to keep track that 262 was not very nice to me so this is the update um hope you guys like it thank you for watching um I'm, and i've covered this before if any of our videos have helped you please share them uh there's a lot of guys like us i've had a lot of people reach out to me personally and they're like hey you know thank you for thank you for posting that video there's like no information if any at all about these cars so and I, i'm not trying to take away from the shops I want to put that out there because if you are a guy that likes to bring it to the shop, bring it to the shop. That's fine. If you're not comfortable working on it, for me, I, I'm, I've got, I've got this in my bloodline, so I don't mind getting dirty, um, and I don't mind learning. Like I said, broken parts, a lot of money, and a lot of patience. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys uh, are interested and come back and watch some more because I'm telling you, the next time you see this thing, it's gonna be on the track and it's gonna run eights. See you later.